This is the getting set up tutorial for the dental design tools for Blender add-on. Um, this is a beginner tutorial, which means it will be slow, thorough, and wordy. Um, later for other tutorials, there, I'll try to make a pass-through. That's not a typo, it's just it's nice to have them the same length. Pass-through version, which will be relatively word-free and kind of in real time. Uh, that way you don't have to sift through a longer tutorial to find some little reference that you need. Uh, the first thing I want to point you to is some resources. Um, naturally, the Dental Design Tools website, uh, which you can find here at sites.google.com slash site slash Blender Dental. Uh, it's just kind of the focal point uh, for all the information and things regarding this add-on. It's just a nice central place to kind of keep me organized. The second is blender.org. The third is YouTube, and if you need to do something in Blender that's maybe not specific to the add-on, uh, that but you would still like to take advantage of some of the non-dental features of Blender, you come to YouTube or Google, but YouTube is really uh, the highest concentration of this information. You type Blender 2.5 followed by what you want to do. For example, output an STL. Right, and usually there'll be, uh, this wasn't a very good example, but usually there's a lot of a lot of tutorials on lots and lots and lots of different topics. Now the, the fourth is the Blender Artist Community, and this is a little bit more difficult to filter through, uh, but it's also just a neat place to see what people are doing. If you looked if you look at the finished projects and focus critique, you can see a lot of the other artwork that people are doing with Blender. But just a neat place. Enough about that. So the first thing you'll need to do is get a Dropbox account. Uh, Dropbox is free. It's a file sharing service which will sync a folder on my computer with a folder on your computer. Uh, I, I would appreciate it if you use this referral link because then I will get an extra amount of space, pretty much the perfect amount, to share uh, example STL files, tutorials, as well as to give you Blender with the dental add-on itself already enabled. Um, there are other ways to do that, but this is a really elegant and efficient way. Just click here, fill out the relevant information. After you've done that, please fill out the application form so I know that you're out there and that you want to use this. Uh, I'll then share a Dropbox folder with you that will look something like this. Okay, so it will have maybe your name or whatever the leader and your email address is at whatever your email provider is. And that's just the way that I keep track of people out there. Uh, there'll be a models folder which will have necessary models uh, to complete the later training tutorials. Cases, this is where you will save anything that you want me to look at. Uh, if you're stuck at a step or you're having trouble doing something, you just save the .blend file in this cases folder and that, that will allow me to look at it. Uh, we'll have the add-on folder which will contain two things which we'll get to later. Um, some documentation and then if you're a Windows user you'll have a folder actually containing the, the Blender application itself. You'll need to unzip this here, but inside it uh, there's the Blender application, and once you've unzipped it, it will have this logo, and you just double click that to run it. For Linux or Unix and Mac users, you'll need to come to blender.org and download the appropriate version for your system. So once you've got Blender on your computer, and my Dropbox shared with you. I want to go ahead and open, open up Blender, and it will look it will look a little different than this, but don't worry about that. We'll need to enable some add-ons. You do that by going to File, User Preferences. I've already done that here. Navigate to the Add-ons tab. Need to enable the mesh relax, the loop tools, and 
and the dental design tools. Um, if you got Blender from Blender.org and not from me in your Dropbox, you'll need to go to Install Add-on, navigate to the Add-on folder in your Dropbox, click this and do not rename it, and click Install Add-on. Once we've done that, we want to save as default. Uh, you only want to do this if you're using Blender exclusively for this purpose. If you use Blender for other things, um, you don't have to do that. But just know that the three add-ons that I just enabled always have to be enabled in order for this to function correctly. And the final step is you'll need to open the starting file .blend. And what that does is this file has um, the tooth library in it, as well as it's um, the layout is set up in a, in a way. Uh, you notice the animation pane has disappeared from uh, the standard version. If you do this and you want to use Blender for other things later, you can always go to load factory settings, and it will come back to default. And I've got mine so that it does this. So that's it. Uh, once you have all those done, you're ready to get going and you can proceed on to the other tutorials.